Guys, let's just say you win in December. Hypothetically, you win, fight is over. In your mind, you're going to win the fight. So that's over with. Okay, so now Dustin's the guy. Mm -hmm. You're everywhere, right? I'm talking every freak. There's everybody has to come through you. You call the shots. If he wanted to, and you guys fought in 2022, how confident are you if you went up against Khabib? I'm very confident. I can beat anybody in the world. Anybody in the world. But at the same time, I'm honest with myself and I understand this is combat sports and, and I can lose to anyone as well. But my skill set, I, I believe 100% in my skill set and work ethic, I can beat anyone. Yeah. It's exciting to be in that state. And you know, what makes you unique is your level of humility. So in, in, uh, 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 in the, what's been happening a lot lately is with Jake, uh, Paul, Tyrone Woodley, I don't know if you saw the fight. Oh, you I, were I was at the, the fight. fight. Yeah. You were at the fight, I saw you were everywhere, yeah. What do you think about the fight, Jake against uh, Tyrone? I thought Tyron was going to do a lot, a lot better than that. You know, he's been in the gym for the last 15 years fighting, training mixed martial yeah. arts. He's a former world champion. Um, but he's not a, he's a big puncher, but he's not a boxer. The art of boxing is, is different. It, it's, um, it's a different thing. You think if you, like, let's, I'm not saying it's going to happen. I'm just saying if you did fight these guys as a boxer, is there any chance they can go up against you if they box you? I think I beat all these guys in boxing. Every one of these guys. Yeah, these, these um, social media you, guys crossing media over. Guys. Yeah. Yeah, I, I punish them. Yeah. <laughs> Confident. Look, it's not even like a thought. I'm not being cocky, but I know you're not being this cocky. is how it's I feed my style. family. Yeah. And, and I've grown up in the gyms and, and yeah. become a man in these gyms um, under the pressure and fire of fighting. So when I speak about fighting, I speak about it strongly because I care about this stuff. No, it's very, it's, by the way, just so you know, it's felt. Your, your fire is felt. That's not, you can't act that way. It's very natural. So Max, Max, uh, uh, you know, historically is known as being one of the better boxers in, yeah. uh, in the MMA. And you went up against him twice, and you won both times. And the second fight you guys had, sick fight. I mean, we should have paid $300 to watch <laughs> that fight. It was that sick of a fight. What is it like fighting Max? Max is a guy who um, his pace is hard to keep up with. Fortunately for me, I, I, I work hard and build my aerobic capacity and, and, and uh, my cardio and muscle endurance, but I have a, a natural gift. I'm thankful for it, but I, I can be out of shape off the couch and go to the gym and outlast a lot of these guys physically. I don't know how, why. I'm, it's just the way my body's wired, so I'm thankful for that. So I was able to keep up with his pace and uh, make him make mistakes. You know, he was the current world champion at the time. He moved up in weight, and I, and I beat him. Um, but in there, I felt his understanding of combat sports, and, and I felt his knowledge and, and his skill set. He's an incredible fighter. Do you, do, if you were to put up all the people you fought, I'm a dog fight type of person, who would you put at the top? Not best puncher, mm -hmm. not ground. I'm talking dog fight. Like, this guy's not going to stop. He's relentless. Who would you put at the top? That I've faced? Yeah. Max has to be at the top. You know, I've hit him with, I hit him with so many shots. He was hurt multiple times. Um, an another one at the, at, at the, on that list is Justin Gaethje. I mean, the guy's a wrecking ball. He, he walks forward with reckless abandonment for his own body and his own health to, to, to land his shots. But that's why he's such a fun fighter to watch. Very cool. You think Connor's going to make a comeback? You, you, that injury, man. You know, he broke the tibia and fibia. Yeah. That's going to be a long road. But look at all the things the guy's accomplished. If anybody can come back from that, it, it's him. You know, I wish him. I don't, I don't hate any of these guys. Uh, it's very obvious. Um, yeah. All the stuff said and, and the, you know, he, he could. He could. You know, he's a former multiple-time multiple world champion, and he knows how to work. He has money. He has a team around him. So if he wants to build it back up, he has all the, the things to do that. How do you stay motivated when you're getting paid as much as he's getting paid? I don't know, man. They say it's hard to wake up and run those miles and, when you're sleeping in silk pajamas. <laughs> <laughs> so if you like this little short clip from an interview I did, click over here to watch the entire interview and... Please don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Take care, everybody. Bye-bye.